everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Tor. I hope everybody is doing well. So in today's video, um, I've been doing a video that I've wanted to do for quite a while now. It is going to be my updated full shoe collection, um, designer, non-designer, everything. Basically all the shoes that I have will be shown in this video. Um, so if you're interested in seeing these types of videos, definitely keep watching. Okay, so I wanted to start off and display them all by brands. So I'm going to start off with these Nike um, off-white collaboration shoes. These are the, I think they're called like the Waffle Runner or something. They're really cool. Um, I got these for Christmas in the white and cream colorway. These are actually, I think they're technically women's shoes. Um, but they're super, super cool. They have this sort of waffle design on them, um, as well as they have this sort of double lace, which is really interesting. These are actually reflective. Um, and then here they have the classic just white laces, and then here the air quote shoelaces, um, which is very reminiscent of off-white. So these ones are definitely interesting. They have like a really interesting bottom sort of like cleats. They're kind of funky to walk in, but they're really comfortable. My next pair are these Nike Air Max uh, 720s in the white and pink. So these ones are super, super comfortable. Um, they have the full pink sort of air cushion sole. I love these shoes. Um, fairly dirty on the bottom, so I'll try not to touch that. But they're just, they're really nice. They're really comfortable. I really like them. I think this is super cute, the little pink Nike swoosh. So these are definitely a favorite. Um, I love wearing these just to like walk around or even go running in. These Nike um, Air Max, I actually don't know what these are called, but they're very popular. Everyone has a, their own like version of this. Um, I love pink and white specifically, so that's why I got these ones. I actually picked these up on sale from the Nike website. Um, really, really cute, really comfortable. The one thing is your like toe stops like here, so it sort of feels like when you're walking, your toe is like not on the same sole, but it's fine. My last pair are these um, Nike just all white Vapor Maxes. Um, these are super, super comfortable. I really like these shoes. Um, they're really lightweight. They have like, just like a mesh toe. So you can actually, when you wear like really bright socks, you can see the one thing about all white shoes, obviously super hard to take care of, super hard to keep clean, but these ones are definitely a favorite. I wore them a lot um, when I was working at Nordstrom because they're just super comfortable. You can stand on your feet all day in these and they're just like their air on your feet and then like the cushion is also super nice so highly recommend those as well so the next brand that i want to show are my yeezys so these are my yeezy what are they called 300s and uh the colorway citrine um they have this really cool sort of like neon yellow stripe along the sides these shoes everyone said they're so comfortable and i like resisted for a while mostly because I couldn't find them anywhere, but they're the most comfortable shoe ever. They have this really interesting like oatmeal color mixed in with like a light green. So I really love these shoes. I wanted to get another pair, um, but I don't know. I don't think it'd be worth it for me to get another pair. Like once you have one, you sort of like, what more do you need? They're not as popular right now, but that's okay. And then I have these Yeezy, oh no wait, these are the 700s in um the colorway hospital blue i got these on essence i remember seeing them when they showed up online i was like out a bag so these i got in a seven and a half i think these are women's oh no these are men's but these are super comfortable as well they have an orthopedic sole which I think is like really funky, but these are super comfortable. I really like the colorway. This really is like nice light blue. And I don't know, this colorway is just like really interesting and unique. Like everything is blue. They have these silver, um, silver sort of inlays here, which I think are really nice. And I just love all the different layers, like the different layers of suede and then the knit and then this like reflective material. So 
but I highly recommend. Okay, so these three um, are from different brands because I only have one per brand. So let me start off with these ones. I really love these. These are my D squared, um, just, I don't know what they're called, sneakers. I really like the bottom. It has this sort of maple leaf. For those of you who don't know D squared, they're um, a Canadian brand, but everything is made in Italy. These are like my quintessential Canadian shoe. They have the brown suede, the denim, and then the red sort of plaid with the red um, plaid maple leaf. I think these are so cute. They're actually so comfortable, super padded. Um, I wanted to get another pair of these, but I can't really find them anywhere. I saw them on Farfetch, but I don't really like shopping from Farfetch because I find their prices are pretty high because um, you have to like include all the duties and everything but they just have the simple D squared um, plaque on the lace here. And I actually got these in Las Vegas when I was there with my mom. There's a D squared store in the crystals shops and everything was on sale there. Cause I don't think like, unless you're European, I don't think people really buy D squared, but it's super cute. And these shoes are just like adorable and they're really unique. I haven't seen anybody else with these shoes like ever and I doubt I ever will. And I definitely love them. Like, they're just so cute. If you wear any sort of plaid, they look really good. If you wear any sort of denim, they look really good. If you wear any sort of brown, they look really good. So you have a lot of versatility with these shoes and I love the bright white stripes. They're just really, really cute and they're super comfortable. So like, why not? The one thing is you can't wear them in rain, like plaid, suede, and then like denim, um, cotton just like doesn't work. The tongue is um, red suede as well. So they're like really nice. They have like a lot of like luxury elements. The whole inner is leather. They're super comfortable. And I find with leather shoes, like on the inside, if it's all leather, your foot doesn't stink as much. So don't know what that means, but they're super good. I love them. Um, the next pair, which I've shown, are these Prado wedges. They're patent leather and they're brogues. Um, on the bottom, it just says Prada, and then I don't really know what to say about these shoes. I don't wear them all that much because, as I mentioned in my last video, super narrow here. My foot's a little bit wider um, around the knuckle, and they just hurt like there's no tomorrow. The one thing with patent leather shoes, they don't really stretch. So you have to either go up a size or, like, try your best to stretch them out but patent leather it's not like a lamb skin it's not like a goat skin it's not even like a calf skin that doesn't have any sort of coating on it which will stretch these ones they're like heat sealed and they're coated so they're meant to be super rigid and hold their shape but they're super duper nice they look amazing but they just feel terrible so there's that my next pair which is sort of now like a basic bitch shoe but I got them two years ago when they weren't a basic big shoe, but like, who knows? Trend Setter. Are these a McQueen Chunky Soul sneakers? They just have the Alexander McQueen on the back. I've gotten a lot of wear out of these. These are really nice. They're pretty comfortable. I like on the bottom that it has this like leopardy print. Um, and then I got the black and white colorway because I thought they looked like killer whales and I thought that was cute. But I don't really know what to say about these shoes. I feel like everybody has them now. I see them like on the street so much. They really sort of are having their moment or they either had their moment. So if you're looking for like a designer shoe, I wouldn't say go for these just cause I feel like they're kind of over now. Like they just are like, sorry, but they're super comfortable. Like if you already have them, definitely like keep wearing them. But would I say to buy them now? Like, no. There's going to be new designer shoes that are coming out. There's going to be new styles that are better. Um, right now, I think the Prada Cloudburst are really having their moment. But these are them. Okay, so the next brand I want to showcase is um, Common Projects. Um, I got these Common Projects. I think these are called the like Achilles. They're just like the standard um, low court sneaker, I guess they're called. And I have worn these to death the colorway on these is i think it's called like warm white or something ew i don't even want to show the bottom but like the inside is absolutely destroyed 
I've gotten my wear out of these for sure. I don't really wear them now just because they look kind of like disgusting, but I wore these to Mexico and I went on an excursion and hiked up um, one of the pyramids and then it started downpouring. I wore these to the beach in New Zealand and I got water in them by accident. So I've definitely put these shoes through it. Um, I've had to replace the laces twice because the lace is broken. This one looks like it's about to break again. But yeah, these shoes are definitely amazing. If you're thinking about getting a pair, I would say do it. Um, I feel like their brand sort of went downhill a little bit. They used to be really big like two years ago, but now um, I don't really see a lot of people wearing them anymore and I don't really see a lot of people buying them. But they're just, they're a really good shoe. The leather on them is super good quality. You can find a lot of them on sale. They do really nice colorways and they're just very simple and they're very like recognizable because of the gold lettering. So really recommend those. My next brand is Givenchy. So I have these Givenchy white um, pink sneakers. I really like the back detail, how it just says Givenchy Paris in silver. Got these on sale um, at Holt Renfrew. These are from the women's collection. Um, I think they're around like $300, which is pretty good. The one thing is, I just don't really wear them. I don't really find they're that comfortable. The sole is like pretty hard. Um, it's like straight onto this plastic part. There's not a lot of cushion on the inside. So I find my feet start to hurt pretty fast. And for some reason, the leather is super squeaky on these. I'm not sure if I would totally recommend them. Um, they're not the most comfortable sneaker. Like if you're looking for something that is the same, like I would say go for the Common Projects over the Givenchy ones, but you know, they're nice nonetheless, but I just don't really get my wear out of them like I wish I did. My next pair, also from Givenchy, are these pink slides. These are also from the women's collection. Um, the women's collection just has better colors. Like, the women's collection has all like browns and grays and blacks. It's just boring. Like, the women's collection, all pinks. All my pink shoes are from the women's collection, so just like a little tip if you like pink and your feet are like fairly small or like a man's shoe, shop in the women's collection. Much better selection. So I got these. These ones, what can I say about these ones? I have gotten a decent amount of wear up out of them, but just like any sort of plastic slide, A, they're a lot of money for just like a piece of plastic, and B, they're so uncomfortable if you wear them just with like out a sock, because your foot just rubs like no tomorrow you get the most insane blisters at least that's my experience with any sort of slide but you know they're nice they have gotten their wear they're really good too <laughs> honestly i just use these to like take out garbage and um like occasionally walk to a pool but all the pools are closed right now and it's cold so i won't be doing any of that so if you're like thinking about getting slides i've tried the prada slides mm, really uncomfortable uh the gucci ones Mm, basic. The Givenchy one's also really uncomfortable, so honestly, like, I don't think designer slides are worth it. I think they're really uncomfortable and they're, like, really cheaply made, if that makes sense. Like, you could just go to Nike and get, like, the same pair or Adidas, but, you know, if you want that name, get these. But I got these. I think they were only, like, $90 because I got them from Nordstrom when I was working there. They were on sale. It was, like, designer last call so everything was like 80% off then I got my discount on top of it so these were like super cheap for basically what they are and I still think I paid like too much okay so we're almost done I have six pairs left um none of these are designers these sneakers by a brand called Botas 66 this is a Czech brand you can only buy them um as I know in the Czech Republic I think they, um, they did have a store in Chicago, but I think it closed. They have this really interesting like dice design. They have a little plaque there. So these shoes are super comfortable. I got these when I visited Prague with my dad um, in 2017. And they're just really nice. They're full suede and I think they're only like 60 euros or something. So they're super good quality. Um, and they were relatively cheap, but I wanted to get another pair, but I just haven't been able to find them, and I haven't been to the Czech Republic since, so obviously I can't buy them there. 
So if you are in the Czech Republic and you want a nice shoe that's made in the Czech Republic by a Czech brand that you can sort of bring back that no one else where you live will have, definitely check out that brand. Super good. Really love them. But these really, oh my god, dusty uh, Fenty Pumas. So these are the Fenty, which is the Rihanna brand, um, Puma collab uh, Creeper sneakers. So Creeper is just referring to this giant thick sole. And then they are in a crinkled um, patent leather. I really liked these shoes. I got a lot of wear out of them um, when I got them a few years ago. They're really comfortable. They look really cool on and they are water resistant, which is kind of nice. Like I wore them in the rain, like totally fine, no issues. I don't really get a lot of use out of them now because I mostly am just wearing those Nike sneakers or my Doc Martens, which I will show you now. I'm not really wearing a lot of my designer shoes now. The only ones I have been wearing are my Celine um, loafers just because I got them for work. But the other ones I don't really wear. Um, I got them when I was working at Nordstrom and I would sort of wear them at work just so I could promote product. And then I found if I wore designer, people would buy more designer from me. So it was sort of like a business strategy, but also I just like really loved them and I got a discount, so why not? I don't know where that ramble came from, those shoes, but I will try to sell these shoes once everything is over. So if anybody who's watching this wants to buy them and you're a size, UK 6 or EU 39, let me know and we can arrange a time to pick those up. The next ones, which I talked about, are my Doc Martin. These are the 1460 boots, I believe. And these are in the all black, so the black mono. Um, I got these in, I think, 2013 or like 2014. So these are like seven years old and they are the best boots ever if you are like i'm looking for a nice pair of boots get these i fucking love these and they are like still perfect the only one is like they've recently like developed this hole which is unfortunate so i may have to like replace them but i kind of just love how beat up they look this is the other one for comparison like honestly they look like shit but they also look amazing so i definitely recommend doc martens the next one Oh my god are these pair of um tan leather brogues i got these from there's this canadian shoe store called browns this is from their in-house line um i got these when my um stepsister was getting married um in vancouver actually and i needed like a nice shoe so we got these super comfortable really nice um i haven't really worn them too much i wore them once to the wedding and then like twice to a job interview the next pair are these Castanier um, espadrilles. So they're actually meant to look like this, but I fucked up the back and I wear them like this now. So my boyfriend actually got me these um, for our six month anniversary or something. And we were going to Mexico and like a few months after that. And I was like, ooh, like I really want a pair of nice like shoes that I can wear. Um, just like around. And for those of you that don't know, Castanier are the this brand that makes espadrilles and they actually make espadrilles, which is like this weave on shoes. They make this for um, Hermes and I believe Loewe as well. They're a Spanish brand. So they make a lot of like large designer brands espadrilles for them. But they also have their own brand and their own brand is like just as good, if not better. Um, Cause these were, I think, I think we got these on sale too. They were like, $90 or something. Full suede, full suede on the inside, do it like here, and then they have just like a leather bit here and the rest is like the the weave. Um, but yeah, I just basically wear these with the heel down sort of as like a slide and I love wearing them like that. Whenever I wear these, it's like summer has officially begun. So I started wearing these again just to like sort of get myself in the mood, but it's really hard. Okay. Another pair are these. Another pair are these Havana, um, just simple black uh, flip flops, I guess. If you're looking for a really good brand, Havana's is like a really good brand. They're super nice quality and they're fairly inexpensive. Um, 
I don't really know what to say about these. They're just a black flip flop. I haven't really worn them in a while, which is why they're kind of dusty because it's been cold in Canada. But now that it's getting nicer, um, I'll probably wear these a little bit more. I'm not super big on flip flops, but everyone needs to have like one pair. Okay, I lied. I only said six, but there was actually seven. So I have my good old trusty dusty Celine Luco loafers, I believe they are. They're in the uh, navy blue with the green sort of accessory here and then a white toe cap. These are amazing. I was looking on the Celine website today just because like I wanted to see what they have and they released a bunch of new colors of this. Um, there's a red one, there's a python one, they've done a lot of black ones with like different sort of accents on the toe like chains or their um, triumph like little metal bit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another pair because honestly like I haven't worn these since I last went into work which was in March on the 12th so I've been in quarantine now for well over 40 days and these just haven't gotten their use since. Um, I don't really want to wear them around the house because I find that kind of weird but if you're looking for a really good loafer I definitely recommend these. They're hand stitched as well so like really really nice um, and they're super comfortable like I didn't have to break these in at all. I just put them on and started walking and my foot was just like, thank God. So I definitely recommend these if you're looking for a really nice loafer. So thank you for watching. That is my entire shoe collection. Looking around me, there are just shoes everywhere. Um, so if you're interested in seeing more of these videos or detailed reviews on any of the shoes, definitely let me know and I would love to do that. Um, Definitely make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for new content and turn on the notification bell so you can't be notified when I post. I have been trying to maintain the schedule of posting every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but when quarantine is over and I have to go back to work full time, that will change to two days a week, um, Sundays and Wednesdays. So I look forward to seeing you next time and have a great day.